just a defective bolt from TrickFlow. Thanks a lot, TrickFlow. So, just so everybody is clear, TrickFlow sold me a defective bolt for my timing chain dampener. So, thanks a lot. Trash. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. So before I get all nasty and greasy working, continuing to work on the rockers, um, I'm going to install some bodywork parts that just came in the mail today. Um, in this case, we have a new uh, hatch lifter because After 30 years, obviously, <laughs> you know, it's not gonna be, okay, that's weird. Very strong anymore. Um, so they got these little weird thingies on them for the defroster, but I don't really give a shit about that. It's not important to me. What is important is the lifter part. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Um, I don't remember which way they came off, but I don't feel like it's really important whichever way. Now see, that's a little confusing. This one has a cover and this one does not, unless this is supposed to be, hmm, hmm. Are they from the same company? Yeah. Okay, so this is really a two-person job, to be honest. Um, so, yes. <clears throat> My belief is that this goes here. <clears throat> because of the way this connects, of course. Well, I mean, I don't remember. Does it really matter? Don't think it matters. <clears throat> well, actually, this doesn't have a doesn't have a ball lock on it. it seems kind of sketch. Uh, that's... <clears throat> okay, that's a little sketchy. Where's the rubber mallet? <clears throat> This is a two-person job. I don't want to fuck up the hatch. Okay. Um, how could I do it with only one person? Sketch, this is sketch. Not recommended because if this box slips, then you're gonna break the glass on the hatch. Not recommended. Okay. Anyway, I don't really care which side is which here. I just want it to work. And there is paint. There is paint on it from 
being painted, obviously. <laughs> Might have to li lift the hatch even farther. I don't like that this doesn't have a lock on it. Oh, there's a little, there's supposed to be like a little wire or something that runs through it to lock it. That's stupid. I would have just ordered two of those if I had known that there was, <sighs> so dumb. Okay, anyway. So, what we want to do, <clears throat> we want to lift the hatch until this lock will go on without compressing the strut. Just right about there. Ah. Okay, make sure it's locked. And I don't like holding the hatch with only one strut. I know a lot of people do that to half-ass the repair, but that's not smart because you're twisting everything. Also, I need to tear these out in 3D print replacements. They want $100 for this little piece of rubber right here. Then they want $100 for this little piece of rubber, not the big part, the little part. And then they want another $100 for this little piece of rubber. So I, told, I literally told them I'd rather push the car off a cliff. Like, that's what I said. Because that is such an outrageous ripoff for a little piece of rubber. So, this one's like a different. Oh boy. It's not good. Now it's supposed to have a little retaining pin. I don't know where the hell to get that retaining pin. It kind of pisses me off. Um, do I even have anything that could be put in place of that? Like a, I would need a super tiny, um, man, it's kind of a shit. Uh, um, okay, anyway, so the next part we can do is this, which this was a total ripoff, but there's no other way place that you can get it from. So I don't really have a choice. So it's a fitted part with a really shitty weld seam on it that's gonna leak for sure. So I need to put that at the top, unless it has a shape to it. Um, Let's see, it would go like, like this. Come on. Right? Why aren't you cooperating? It's all twisted up. I can't tell if it has a molded shape or if it's just one long piece that they folded up. But, now, the other question is, does it go, I think it goes on here. 
So maybe not put the seam at the top because that would have a lot of water flow. Put the seam at the bottom. I assume it goes like this. Just pop it on, right? It's kind of cold out here, so I'm not sure how well it's going to attach. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Can kind of feed it around. That's using your brain. <clears throat> you can hear when it's seated because it So as you can see, this doesn't seal these, and these are known to leak. So I'll probably tape it off from the bottom and just fill the whole thing with silicone, because I can't use these during a race. You have to be able to unlock the hatch from the outside with a quick release, otherwise people can't come and rescue you. So it also means you can't go shopping and leave your car, you know, anywhere. That's the sucky part. but. So getting around this corner is going to be tough because if you, if you don't have it on before you go to the next part, then it'll come up short. This is definitely not easy. Okay, let's... Okay, real quick before I forget, I'm gonna make a note in my phone about that stupid thing. Okay, so anyway. Um... At least I, I hope this is supposed to go here and not... I don't know, it looks like there's supposed to be a seal around this too. I can't, I can't tell. I probably have to go back to my video and go back through all that video and figure out which part of the hatch up here I need to put back together. Because <laughs> I doubt this metal is supposed to just sit on this rubber. That doesn't seem like it would seal very well.
pain in the butt. How the fuck am I supposed to get around these seams, like... Seems pretty solid. If it's not, it'll come back to haunt me, I'm sure. Ah, oh, no. Son of a bitch. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Lifters are... God. Fucking shit. Fuck. Okay, that was close.
I hope I got that on right or it's gonna pull itself off all the time. Luckily I'm doing this while it's cold, so at least when it expands in the summer it'll be okay. 50 degrees in here, Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Fahrenheit in here, so. I need to jam that on first. Okay. Now I need to put the lifter back on before I drop a hatch on my head. that doesn't want to go back in. Why should life be easy? That would be too... Okay. If life was easy, that would be too easy, right? We're gonna wait for that last part until uh, until we get the rest of this on. So now we gotta take this one off, which should be a lot more straightforward since it's uh, not even on in the first place. Man, that's gonna be a really small clip. That's such a cheap ass design. I'm almost, it's only, I'm, for 20 bucks, I'm tempted to order another one of those because that's way safer than this. Um, actually, I'm gonna take a picture of the part number and order another one. <sighs> Shit, I could probably get it straight from their website for way cheaper. And of course my piece of shit phone won't focus on it. Come on. Focus on the fucking part number. Oh, I almost had it. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we can now thread this around there. Kind of stick that there for now. And I guess we didn't really need to take the bottom off, but whatever. Okay, so now we need to get this bottom on and to do that we want to kind of there we go check and make sure it's solid okay we need to move out of the way because I don't want to mess them up. This I don't need anymore. Wait, why are there holes? 
those drain holes or just the air cushion hmm. anyway um So, just got to keep on going. Pain of an ass, as much of a pain in the ass as it is. It's got to be done. still solid. You know, it's crazy. I bet Brandon can do this in like half this time or less. I'm sure he has to do this shit all the time. If anything, I should have done this with the hatch completely off because now I don't have any way to safely get up here, which means I might have to take the hatch back off, which would be fucking great because there's so much fun putting it on. Solid. Yeah, I find it hard to believe the hatch would just sit, sit on the. Hmm. fuck is that? So, let's see. Yeah, I should have done this with the hatch off. I feel smart. tough spot. Contrary to my better judgment. To add a almost 
200 pounds to the back of the lift. Man, that's been a good bind. Before, oh, that's really gonna be a problem. So before we do any of this, we're gonna do the other side because we need the twisting motion. Also, let's put this back up before the hatch breaks. Man, that's sketch. Obviously, I'm not gonna be connecting any of this stuff back up. Gonna cut that little, well, it'd be smarter to unclip this clip, but I think it's like locked in somehow. Is that a lock or was it just? Nope. The fact that they've ran the amperage up through the strut instead of just running a wire like every other car in the world, it's just, it's just the definition of pointless. All right, anyway, now we gotta come up here and try and get this finished up. Probably gonna rerun that wire just out and to the cage and down. This, who knows? Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a piece cut off anyway for all this, so this wire's. Yeah, nope. It's a lot of work to do. A lot of it's manually intensive, not so much monetary, because wire is cheap, but the time investment. car from scratch. kidding me? Hell. I mean, not by a little. It's too long by a lot. You gotta be kidding me.
Where could I have screwed up? That is that freaking long. It's got to be like in these corners. I don't see where else. Shit. Unless they cut it too long. Freaking bad, is it? Like, if I pull it all the way back to and try to get it at least half assed centered right there. up that difference somewhere I don't know where if it's even possible oh no does this have glue on it or just is that just like a is it just like a sticky It is. It is some kind of glue. Kind of nasty, sticky fuck. <sighs> There's got to be a reason for it being short. There we go. I just kind of hit it in this corner here. It's not perfect, but it should do. Got to remember to wash all the sticky shit off my hands and ooh. Okay, so the solution is to shove it into here and here, basically. So we want to pull all the way down to the crease, and then we want to bring it around the top side like that, and then force it. 
force it down. Look at that. And honestly, being a little long, it will help keep it from shrinking in extreme cold. I wouldn't want to be the poor guy at the factory who had to put these on every day. Okay, now to get out of the car. <clears throat> oh man, it is really not stable. Not smart. Not smart. Okay. You know what, I think I'm gonna have my exhaust shoot out here <laughs> i don't know i haven't figured it out yet because it's not a good well no that wouldn't work would it i don't know there's not much room for the exhaust let's just say that okay so we now have our hatch lifters in place and our hatch seal i'm not going to close the hatch because i think i'm missing something a piece of rubber uh, i don't know Something's missing from up here, because there's no way, I mean, unless it goes to the glass, which I really doubt, you know, something is... Holy shit. Damn. It's hitting. Is the hatch that off center? Oh no, that got fucked up. How did that happen? Are you kidding me? Look at that. That is really fucked up. Oh no. And you can't hit it because it's... have to find out, figure out how to fix that and also how did it get fucked up like that that's I mean that's a huge piece of metal I'd be afraid to break the glass up really bad somewhere along the line. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. This piece of shit. Oh, yeah, let's not do that. Well, fuck. Somewhere along the line, that got bent somehow, and now it hits the seal. Which means I'm gonna have to twist the whole hatch, or I'm gonna, I, I don't know what to do. That's shitty. It's really shitty. Man, how the hell does something like that even happen without breaking the glass? Or I'll have to bend this, but that's probably an even worse idea. Fuck. Have 
to move the whole hatch that way, I think. It pisses me off. I don't remember that problem before the car was taken apart, so it had to have happened recently. That, that has a lot of room. Wait, hold on. No, it's clearing. What am I hitting then? I'm an idiot, it's clearing. Just barely. Yeah, there's a piece of rubber or something I'm missing. Fuck. It's not good. I'm definitely gonna need more than just two of those Sparco springs to to hold this in. I mean, I'm gonna have to have at least four of them, I think. Just along the back here, probably. Find a way to integrate them into the rear. There's some holes here. I could put one there and drill a hole through this piece or drill a hole right here. That might, that's gonna be tough. This is in the way. I could just take this off. I mean, the car would look like shit, but it's extra weight that you don't need. And the car would look like shit. <laughs> Okay, and then the other stuff that I got in was new door um, dome light sensors. So they basically just go here. Oh, and of course there's a rubber seal that's all eight to shit. I'll just 3D print a new one of those. It's nice and small. But this new door sensor basically just... Um, It's to make sure that the dome light or map light comes on, whatever you call it. And I'm definitely gonna need two more of these because these aren't gonna hold that hatch by themselves. Anyway, so now, okay, my hands aren't sticky. Now we can go back to our dark corner over here. I've already got, they're sending a new trunnion and needle bearings, but that doesn't really make me feel much better because who knows how many of the other ones are possibly, what is this? Are possibly defective. So. We're just gonna keep on trucking. <clears throat> Put this here. Okay, so can get grab the next one, the flat spot down, and then get our trunnion. Pull one of the needles off. And then Come down. Ooh, that's oily. I apologize, I'm in a dark corner. are going in nice and easy it's not like it's not like I'm binding them or anything so I'm not really sure what the deal is <sighs> no I forgot to check if the letters were on the outside son of a bitch I'm a fucking idiot well it's 50 50 chance I gotta do it over god I'm an idiot Oh, that's so lucky the letters are on the outside. Whew. <laughs> that 
That would have been a not fun repair. So you just put this one in, and then adjust the washer, which is confusing, but that's the only way I've gotten it to work. So, but it makes it a lot harder to get everything lined up. <clears throat> check it to see if it's junk or not because they're only sending me yeah see that spins just fine so there's something wrong with that one which is very frustrating oh fuck it's the last thing you want to do is drop a cast part on a concrete floor okay uh, a little confused why we're out of order here, but whatever. Okay. So, I'll check this one. Yeah, this one's definitely no good. It won't even spin all the way around. I mean, I hope it's not the rocker, because if I get the new bearing and stuff and put it in and then it's still fucked up, then it's a bad rocker. And then I gotta find a matching rocker so I don't have a different rocker out of, you know what I mean? Like, okay. Uh, next. So flat spot down first. And we grab a trunnion. And so we want to put the letters on the outside. Just use this one to do that. Or no, no, no. No, 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 I'm sorry. Need to use that. Flip it over. And then yeah, and there, and then that and there with the letters facing the outside. And then we go for it. Check, letters on the outside, full 360 turn, yes, so hopefully just one bad one. I really, really hope.
out. Leather's the outside. I forgot to check that. I think I forgot to check that anyway. And then letters to the outside. Okay, adjust the washer. Quality check, nice and smooth. Okay, <clears throat> next up, so letters to the outside and then the washer and the press cup make sure it's nice and straight Adjust the washer. Okay, quality check. Okay, I thought I felt something, but I guess not. Okay. Last one on the driver's side. <clears throat> Somebody texted me. Can't answer it though. Busy, busy, busy and covered in oil. Shit, that one kind of. Okay. Oh, come on. Just trying to go in there a little sideways. too far because wasting time cranking on it okay so letters out next so
And that's that side, except for the busted one. Um, what is this? Oh, the clips. I guess Brandon is subtly trying to tell me that it would be stupid not to clip them uh, ahead of time. Oh, man. No, hold on. Now, we did get a repair part for this thing. It was uh, standard threads, which is stupid because we're working on a metric engine, but whatever. Okay, so get all this stuff out of the way here. Um, I just want to double check that it did, in fact, come with new... Or these are for something else? These aren't even close to the right size. Shit, and I'm gonna have to look on my order sheet and see what those are for. Damn. Okay, so for in the time being, don't get rid of those. I have snap ring pliers. Ah, my nose is not liking this cold. Luckily, I have really cool ones that have double function. Okay. Yeah, those are a completely different type of bolt. Problem is, man, those are small. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to go blow my nose so I don't drive you guys nuts. Yep, that's the right size. Okay. a really neat tool totally worth the not very much money compared to all the other shitty snap ring tools that I've had to deal with over the years I wish I would have bought this one a long ass time ago okay so the snap rings are C clips or whatever you want to call them very straightforward you just want to get enough pressure to get them on you don't want to go nuts with it and screw them up because you can permanently deform them and then you're shit out of luck because I doubt they bother providing one or two extra just in case. Okay, I might as well. Sorry, I'm going to put these back before I lose them. Very nice. Okay. So that's done. 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 you are like, hey, you look like you've done this before. The answer is no, I have not. First time building an engine in the history of ever. Well, dirt bike engines don't count. I've done dirt bike engines, so I'm not a complete tard.
guess that'd be smart to double check that they're closed. <coughs> Before I skip one on accident, let's do this. Okay, this will be a little more efficient. Oh, come on. Oh, too low. Shit. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I got it messed up. Okay. <clears throat> oh, the knees. They get you right in the frickin' knees. So it doesn't look like they sent me what I need, unless they just sent me the wrong ones. Oh, oh, knees. Okay. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Whew, sorry. Okay. Now these, which I do. That's a needle bearing. You don't want that getting lost anywhere. real quick while I'm thinking about it. See if this is gonna work or if we're totally screwed. Which, yeah, I know this is not ideal, but this is the smallest headed bolt I could find. Okay, let's... <clears throat> do this a little bit smarter. Hopefully this works. If 
not, I'm gonna have to do some cutting to make it work. Holy shit, it just barely clears. That's lucky. That is really lucky. <laughs> and the reason why that other bolt failed is because it was a stainless bolt, which, let's be honest, that's pretty, uh, not smart. I mean, if we're really going to be honest about that, that's <laughs> not smart at all to use stainless for something that needs more. Uh oh, where did that come? Uh, where did he get this from? Shit. Okay, and then this, so it goes like, you know, like this, and then that, and then that. Like that. Okay, so we got that fixed. Lesson learned there. Don't use an impact. <laughs> uh, damn engineers. Okay. Um, let me get a little smarter about this. Move this closer. Put that over there. Okay. Don't know what this is for. <clears throat> so now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to do, and we still got to figure out. Might as well take this one apart so we don't accidentally use it. Um, since it's, you know, a complete fuck up anyway. Another text message. Cannot answer you, I apologize. Excuse me for a second while I clean my shaft. <laughs> Don't need your judgment, just look away. Okay, All right, so Next up, ooh, there's dirt on that one. That's nice. So, letters out, and washer, and press in. a little bit since <clears throat> the next one's a lot smaller so take that out flip it over and then put that in make sure the letters they are not facing out okay and then the washer I really wish there was a better way and there we go <clears throat> Wish I had like an electric one, just zzz, zzz, <laughs> done. Of course, that'd be really easy to fuck shit up. Ooh, that was way off. This one's got a little sticky spot too, right there, but it's completely upside down. Man, I don't like that though. Right there. 
it's got a sticky spot. You can feel it's like rolling over something. But here, it's nowhere near as bad as the other one. I'm going to call that one a pass. <clears throat> it's never going to buy a comp cams trunnion kit again, though, if that's the kind of quality I can expect from them. It's kind of bullshit, if you ask me. OK, so ladders out, washer, and thingy. Letters out and just the washer. Quality check, perfectly fine. That is very frustrating. out, take that out, and put the trunnion in, make sure the letters are on the outside. Check, 
perfectly fine. Shit, I might have to have them send me another one, because... I mean, the last thing I need is to have this fucking thing go bad. I mean, that's what's weird, though. It feels perfectly fine. Until you go like that. The rocker. It could be the rocker, but I, I, I would find that hard to believe. When the hell is my, uh... There's this, I ordered needle bearing lube and it's got a little nozzle and you stick it in the sides there and fill the needle bearings with the lube, but the shit hasn't even shown up yet. Kind of pissing me off that it's so late. I'm gonna have to send them an email and actually I'm gonna make myself a note right now. Okay, next. So, gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna grab this one and face the letters out. Trunnion in, and then letters out. Okay, quality check. Perfect. I'll probably just have Jigs send me another one. I don't know, they might tell me to fuck off. Uh, that's a pretty long delay in the engine build. I mean, I can... And really, you can just take, if, if a valve starts like sticking, and you, you're gonna hear it, catch it, pull the valve cover, replace it real quick, because I'll already know what's wrong with it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna let that one pass. I, I'm not too happy about it, but I think Jegs made it sound like they're only sending me one trunnion and set of needle bearings, even though I had specifically asked for a replacement, like full replacement, but whatever.
the letters out. Okay, and then adjust the washer. Okay, quality inspection, perfect, perfectly fine. Okay. Oh, did I do? I used one of these rockers out of sequence. And you know what? It was the same rocker that... So the rocker might be bad. Oh man, see I'm... Pretty sure that's what I did. I just used these out of sequence. I feel smart. Excuse me. Um, the question is, do I want to try this trunnion in a different rocker to see if I can just put it together and then keep the one from Jegs as a backup? Because I'm pretty sure I just accidentally confirmed that it's in fact a bad rocker. I totally spaced out on that. Okay, so trunnion, trunnion in, whoops, trunnion in, and then the letters out. Shit, did I do that one? Yeah, okay. And then washer. Watch this one work perfectly. That's gonna piss me off. I did this one upside down. <laughs> it's the rocker. It's a bad rocker. Oh, hell, no fucking way in hell am I gonna go and try to figure out how to replace this rocker. Especially if it only binds up right here. Okay, well at least we can finish a lot tonight as long as I can deal with the valve springs on my own. They don't seem that hard. I think they're more of a patience is a virtue type of deal. Okay, so 
I feel kind of like an asshole now for being a dick to Jags. It's really nice. To let Brandon know it was the rocker. Check, all good. out. Kind of frustrating they didn't bother assembling them right. I feel sorry for somebody who did not read the directions. Excuse me. Sorry. Check perfectly fine. Oops. All right, one more to go. Uh. Okay, so letters out. That one's kind of... out washer
the last one. Sounds so annoyed. Okay. And quality check. Ooh, that one's actually a little sticky too. But only upside down, so I'm gonna call it a pass. Okay, now I gotta circle clip them. These tools I definitely, absolutely never wanna lose because they are so useful. Uh. Trun... Trunyon? Question mark? Let's go with that. Uh, and these are tools. I'm just going to put them over here for now. Okay, and then I'm going to clean up my workstation really, really quickly. I don't know why this is here. Ooh, those are beat up. Okay, and then uh, let's see. Ooh, we can put this back on. This was. Did I forget to unset the torque wrench? Shit. That makes me feel smart. Um, there are 12s. That doesn't look like it changed anything from the one I was using. That's super frustrating. I mean, eh, there's less clearance, but it doesn't add any pressure. I thought it was supposed to add just a tiny, 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 tiny bit of pressure. Okay, and then I'm gonna set this torque wrench bow all the way back down and then back up. I definitely should not have left it like that. Okay, so that's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Shit, should I be loctiting this stuff? This one's making me so nervous. Why won't it tighten? What the fuck? I don't get it. Is it like...
Okay, what the fuck is going on? Oh no. Oh no! The bolt they gave me was fucking defective. Fuck you, Trick Flow. Are you fucking kidding me? What kind of cheap shit? God damn, you gotta be fucking kidding me. What kind of cheap ass piece of shit bolts did they provide? Holes. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. That's going to be a problem. Motherfuckers, where's the OEM bolts? You've got to be kidding me. What a bunch of shit. Oh boy. That's not good. Fuck. Okay, sorry about that. The GoPro battery shit out on me. So we were attempting to free this, which I don't understand how it's so drastically stuck. There it goes. very confused why this is not cooperating. I mean, it's like stuck stuck. Man, what the fuck? Is 18 foot-pounds the wrong spec? I mean, it's a 12 millimeter head. 18 foot-pounds to me seems pretty weak for that. This is not good. Just crapped out on me again.
very confused by this problem. I feel really dumb, but I also feel like that the bolt was defective because there's no way the bolt should have broke before the aluminum threads stripped. I mean, they're aluminum threads and it's a, supposed to be a high grade steel bolt. And obviously it was a total fucking rip off. Real nice. And now this is stuck. Where'd that go? Real nice trick flow, you fuck at, fucking assholes. Okay, so we're gonna try and use the OEM bolts with the trick flow. Um, because this is bigger than the OEM one, but just a, by a little, so I think it's gonna be beneficial. We just need to get it torqued down properly. And the fact that it, the fact that, that bolt broke is really scary, and I'm so glad none of the other stuff I bought is from TrickFlow. Because it was obviously a cheap piece of shit, you know, half a cent bolt that they got from China without caring about the quality at all. Just really nice of them. <clears throat> okay, <coughs> let's try this again. If I'd stop dropping shit. Okay, 18 foot pounds. Okay, I'm getting, I'm not getting good feedback. What the fuck? I'm gonna look up the torque specs again. Just look it up online. Okay, so, um, is GoPro recording? Yeah, okay. So, um, it says 18 foot pounds, so I don't know what the fuck the problem is. There we go. Just a defective bolt from Trick Flow. Thanks a lot, Trick Flow. So, just so everybody is clear, Trick Flow sold me a defective bolt for my timing chain dampener. So, thanks a lot. Trash. <laughs> okay, so we can C clip, circ clip, ring clip, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna put this back to zero before I forget again. Not zero, but minimum. Um, <clears throat> okay. All right, we're just gonna make a little assembly line here.
I just blew my nose like five seconds ago when I had the video paused and it's already coming back on me. It's frustrating. Just that season. Ooh, somebody's angry out there on the highway. Somebody's really angry out there on the highway. They're just honk, 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 honking out there. Oh, I don't know what the fuck's going on. What the hell? Okay. I can flip them over and assembly line the other side. Wait, they did include two extras or I missed two? Oh shit, that would have been dumb. It was this one that has the little stick in it. That would have been super dumb. They're like, hey, I got two extras. I'm gonna keep them as spares and then, yeah. That would have been really dumb. Really, really, really dumb. Okay. So now these can go back where they belong. Okay. 
don't know why we moved that stuff. But we might as well just leave it. Leave it how it is. Okay. So this, we're done with this. Okay, uh, the only thing I can do now, I believe, is the the valves. Of course, doing the seals, man, I wish I had a better way to do them than the tap, tap, tap. I don't like that at all. Okay, anyway, so I can at least put these springs on and then take the next springs off and then hope to God Brandon isn't busy later in the week. Uh, That's right, we determined this was standard for some unknown, inexplicable reason. and learned and not use an impact on this. You really don't even have to get it tight, just snug because it's just holding you know, the stuff on, it's not like it's, anyway, okay. Mm. Okay. So double check, he's already got the seals in and the new seats on, so we can. valve springs are so much stronger. If these can't get me to uh, the RPMs I want, then I don't know what can. Oh wait, hold on. Gonna do a deep well, nine sixteenths, which is, of course, covered in that nasty shit. And it's really covered in nasty shit. This is an uh, unnecessary extra part. <clears throat> so what we want is the ratchet. Wait, is this a different size? <sighs> Of course it is. It would be too hard to have everything the consistent size. Well, I guess those would be metric and I'm an idiot.
Yeah, that's so stupid. The, uh, that's a definition of stupid. These two are metric and this is standard. How dumb is, okay, I'm, I'm, that's the definition of stupid. Okay. So if I remember right, you literally just have to tighten this all the way down. Okay, so now I need a cleaner. We take our keepers and we put them in like that, All right? Whoops. Okay, um, shit, come on. Okay, I maybe compressed it too much. in okay and then I should hopefully be able to release it beautiful beautiful tool out, my improved tool, since I'm using a better bolt now. Cool. Okay, now I've got to release the engine, which I could, there it is. I wish I had a half inch driver. For... Oh, 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 wait, I might have one. I do. I'm an idiot. This whole time I could have been using the proper. Well, I mean, you can't torque anything with this, but you can at least spin the engine and pull the string out. Okay. And next. So you just fill the cylinder with the string, which is pretty ingenious because it's like a soft. Jeez, how much, how much string does it take? Turn the engine over until you feel resistance. Yeah, that's a lot of resistance. Okay. And now we can pop these out. 
and if I remember right, I think I think it was just a big ass hammer. Ugh. And this. And of course, I'm too much of a weak nerd to hit it. Yeah, I'm too weak for this. Got it. This can't be a pansy. <laughs> You know what, I think the screwdriver was to get the keepers out. Yep. That would be Brandon. Thank God, because now we can work together on this. Okay, I'm gonna blow my nose again. All right, so Brandon and Laz are here to hang out and help out, so we're gonna try this again and see if I can get it on the first try instead of pussy hitting it. It's just counterintuitive to hit an engine with a hammer. No. Yes. Here, I'll no. show you. I won't <laughs> even use that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No pussy hit here. Pussy hit. God damn, fuck you guys. Pussy hit. I got one. Pussy hit. Fucking shit. Pussy hit. There you go. Okay. About time. <laughs> Give her the beans. I just don't want to fuck shit up, man. Let's drop them down there. I was trying to figure out why you had the screwdriver over here, and then I realized it was to get the keepers out. Yeah. You just fucking... Dude, that, that repair I made to that um, compressor is nice. It works good. What are you talking about? The valve spring compressor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. You know what's stupid is the, the engine has two metric bolts, but then they used a standard bolt for the center. Mm -hmm. Like, how, <laughs> how stupid is that? Okay. Oh, I forgot about the seals. See? Okay, and you need some grease. Oh shit. <laughs> Come on. So how much was this, this, this engine? Because I looked up how much I could buy one for. <clears throat> uh, 2,500 before the core charge. <laughs> what? Is that too much? How much did you buy? How much can you get one for? 3,500 with everything. That's everything. Brand, that's not remanufactured either. Everything, everything. Yeah. Intake, aluminum block. Aluminum block, intake, <clears throat> valve covers, everything, everything, even the... Crank pulley, everything. 3500 You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. That's brand new. Including water pump and yes. all that? Yes, that's all What on the it. fuck? It is all on it. Why would people even... Why would this even be listed for sale then if the... Because people like you would buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was money they just made on it. Fuck. in here. <sighs> yeah, I'm so glad you spent how much on heat. <laughs> uh, Dude, 
things. See, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do while you're working on that. I don't really think... Uh, I can put the valley cover the on. Valve springs. Uh, high RPM. Fancy. Yeah. Higher RPM? Yeah. A basically. lot higher. These, you'll float valves if you aren't careful at a high RPM like that. These keep constant tension. Mm, okay. What? Awesome. I'll show you. It's really cool. So they use the exact same setup in Formula One. So this inner spring. Don't try to tell me that this GM piece of shit is in Formula <laughs> One. Don't try to fucking play that. The shit. inner spring's coiled the other way. So when this vibrates, it'll spin. This will vibrate and spin the other way, and then they'll stop each other from spinning, so the valves won't float. So it's pretty we can fucking cool. V -tech. <laughs> yeah, v -tech. they sell these with VVT, but I didn't get it. Why not? Because it's a pain in the dick. No problems. Yeah. Where's our? We're just gonna run stock intake. Um, it's uh, the intake comes with all the computer stuff, and it's uh, it's a Corvette style. How much did you spend on that? I haven't bought it yet. I think Anthony's got one. Oh, I'm sure he's got like 10. Maybe you should ask me before you buy a brand new <laughs> I will send you the link and you can tell me if there's something cheaper. Yeah. Uh, right, valley cover. Um, so you're saying this is used? Uh, yes. The remanufactured, the block is. So yes, it's used. They just went through it. Oh, well, shit, I forgot about this. Gas. Fuck. <laughs> I think it's just that spot. I think everything else. Just throw a gas can to Brandon, what would it, is steel wool not good enough? Steel wool? What the fuck is that gonna do? Okay, that's what I figured. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else. It did, it did. These are the keepers that hold it in place. And that's all the holds of these on. Wow. These hefty. Really? Maybe. Yeah. These hefty springs. It's just them two little things. It's crazy, honestly. That actually did. I'm going to call that good. Okay. Ah. Does this go to the front? Yes, okay, because there's a big cutout back here. Derp. Derp. What is the, oh, that's the. Um, Semen hole. Distributor. For a distributor one, pretty sure. Because they use this block for I don't know how many things. I think you'd still have to stick a sensor in there for the uh, right, reluctor, yeah. yeah. But yeah, normally that's for a distributor. Distributor. Oh yeah. Good job, James. Uh, I'm gonna steal this from you. And now it's got to upgrade your valve springs. found an adapter for that. Much nicer. 
Ya. You know they. <laughs> the tampon. <laughs> it's too. Okay. So. <laughs> tampon. Normally, you fill this with air to keep these valves up, because whenever you take the springs off, obviously they want to fall down in there, mm -hmm. and that would mean that you got to pull the head off, and you don't want to do that. So basically, I'm using this rope to fill the cylinder up, mm -hmm. and then okay. I, I spin it over and it holds the valves up. Makes sense. You know, I was really disappointed, Brandon. The uh, they had a lot of aftermarket these. I mean, they were a little more expensive, but they, um, I don't know. But they didn't have the knock sensor holes. They were all, and it made me wonder why the hell you'd run this engine without knock sensors. Unless you're like gonna carburate it, but then why the fuck are you even <laughs> bothering? What's up? I'm just feeding this rope in there. Yeah. So did you pick up your stuff? Yeah, I did. I got the diffuser and all that. Nice. Pretty dope. He had like a really, really nice CRX. Oh, cool. And then he claimed that he was going to put $80,000 into it. <laughs> so I'd like to know how that goes. How could you even spend eighty grand on a CRX? Claimed that he was going to be 1,100 horsepower all-wheel drive. I call bullshit. $9,000 coilover. Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't even think like dr formula drift coilovers cost that much. Like that's fucking insane. He's a Honda owner, so he talks bullshit. I mean, that's a Honda owner. That's must have been. Yeah, he Brandon. Like he was living with mom. <laughs> Probably has so much money. Yeah. Single, no kids. Okay, 18 foot pounds. <clears throat> 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so the tightening sequence on this is center and then outer and then edges. I could have told you that. <laughs> it's not rocket surgery. Oh, oh, two hits. Oh, you're making fun of the weak nerd over here. I don't want to break your engine. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I can hit it harder. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. That's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said? <laughs> it's 2019. It's ma'am! <laughs> <laughs> it's ma'am! Oh what? A flashlight stand. Flashlight stand. Oh no, that um, that's for that uh, uh, big light. I was gonna say the way you had it set up. <laughs> well, just get a kid, dude. <laughs> just, just get a kid. Here, hold this light. Don't move. Don't move while I yell. Do what? Did you end up uploading your video last night? It took all night to render it. It was so long. So is it uploaded? It's uploading now. It probably won't be done for a while. Oh. I didn't even have time to charge the GoPro, so I don't have much battery left. Got to check it three times. Yep. Hey, don't judge me. Why do you have to check it three times? The OCD. Why not four? Three is an odd number. Yeah. Hey, don't <laughs> don't even get me started. Or two. I hate you guys. Or if you're gonna do an odd number, why don't you just do one? Or if you're gonna do it right, do it right the first time and you won't have to check it three times. That's what I'm saying. Don't give me that look. <laughs> you know he's right.
So I swear they use the same bow springs in Formula One. Not okay. Don't fucking <laughs> you're such a dick. You know what I mean. They use the same ones. Uh, I hate you guys. The same. You mean to tell me I could use it on my 98 Silverado? <laughs> yeah, man. With glass pots. Super tense. <laughs> Uh, tire pressure gauge. It's pretty cool. I need it too because my other one's kind of getting a little. Eh. He's used it more than six times. <laughs> it's getting. <laughs> Time for a new one. Yeah, it's outdated. It's old. So, James. Yes. <laughs> so, James. I was looking for the Facebook market. Oh, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me it's worthless. No, 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 no. no. Even better. Oh. I came across a 911 replica in orange. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, my dad's. <laughs> <laughs> so, get... Casually, I'm like, this seems familiar. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Click on it. Sure enough, it's your dad. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. And I don't know if you've seen this picture. No, here, let me. Okay, uh, so. Penis. You can do the oil pump. <laughs> Penis. Hmm. Mm. Brandon, what do you think about putting the oil pump on? Is that gonna mess with what you're doing? Why? No? It shouldn't. The only problem is I gotta break that. Once you're done with that, I'm gonna break this nut loose. Nut. Having, having some trouble there, bud? Yeah. But I'm doing it. He didn't work. Oh, the keepers. Yeah. There we go. All good? Okay, I'm going to break this loose. battery last long enough <clears throat> I didn't get much sleep last night I had one of those nightmares where you know whatever's happening whatever's happening in the dream like say you're underwater or you know like something where you're not breathing in the dream no no and then you wake up and you're like gasping for air because you weren't breathing while you were sleeping because your dream never mind it's really fucking annoying. Can you tell me you can't sleep and breathe at the same time? <laughs> Sometimes I can't, apparently. Oh, that's a lot of... Now, there's a lot of stuff online about shimming these, but... I'm not gonna, because I think that's fucking retarded. Yeah. Would you read that online? Oh, you stuck? Yeah. Just give me one sec. Give me one sec. Okay. Shimming uh, them for higher oil pressure? Shimming them because OCD. Why is that keyed, but this is not keyed? I'm assuming that is for a different okay. engine. Just Whoa. send it. Easy, easy. Just send yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, see? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, did I put... Oh. <laughs> it's fair. I was going to do the same thing, though, so it's fair. Fair game. Okay. Do I need to show you how to put it in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. When a man and a love and a woman love oh, each hold other... On. Hold on, the ring gear's sunk. And it really doesn't want to... <laughs> You try no, spinning no, 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 no. on it. <laughs> See? Wow. Yes. Okay. There we go. Now I need to look up the foot pounds. See foot pounds. I am so surprised. Oh shit. Did that not come with bolts? Motherfuckers. Are you kidding?
You gotta be fucking kidding me. It was supposed to be a f complete kit. Hey, what are these for? Uh, I don't know. They're not... They're probably... There's only four bolts, though. Oh, man. Motherfuckers. Yeah. There's supposed to be a complete kit. Motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, you got a broken FRS that I'm sure has four extra bolts to throw in. Yeah, see, that's what I'm debating right now, if I should use generic bolts or buy the right bolts. Why would you buy the right bolts when you can use generic bolts? They're just bolts. Because the generic bolts I have are fucking tomato, Chinese tomato. shit. Oh, man. Motherfucker. What time is it? So while Brandon's working on the rest of the valves, we can fit the seats in the Porsche. And unfortunately it's just temporary because uh, the uh, these bolts I got are stainless, which is not good. Four. Um, Yes, possibly. I don't know where the brow oh, here. I'll give these to you. Uh. Yep, that's the right ones with the little marks on them. What the hell was that? Oh, that, that, that there. Put that there. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll just toss it in the other seat. Thank you. Dude, the car cover just every time I see it, it's just kind of like, uh, lame. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay. Almost nothing. Yeah. Very light. And that's not even like competition grade, that's just like middle of the ground, middle yeah. road. Well, <laughs> see, I paid 500 bucks for two if I. Oh, really? It was what? That was harness and everything. Nice. I'm trying to remember which way he had the brackets because what he did is he, uh, oh shit, I got the. You gotta got put the wrong it on brackets. first. Hmm. On the seat first? Yeah, you gotta bolt them on the seat first. I don't know if I can get my hand under the seat though. Well, but you can. You can get to him from the side, yeah. just barely. Well, that's the, well. I'm just trying to figure out which way the damn things are supposed to go. Yeah, that way. No, 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 no. That way. The way he mounted them was kind of different. The other way. No, that's the front. No. Now yeah. The front. No, yeah, that's the front. No. Yes. Be able to recline. No. Yes. That's the other way. Nope. Pretty sure. Mm -mm. Because. I just had buckets not too long ago. You're killing me. You're killing me. What are you talking about? That way. Okay. Think. You want it backward? Right. So. Here, look at look at the way the bolts are on the seat. Oh wait, the seat, I didn't even pull the plugs out of yet. Okay, the, I gotta use the other seat. That one's still fresh.
<clears throat> okay. Yeah, this seat's already got the holes and shit poked in it. Did you already poke it? Uh, so... Here, let me see. So this is the pivot. So the back's as low as possible. And then this is the front to lift the front up. Does that make sense? This is literally how I just had it. What? You're killing me. That's literally what I just told you. You're killing me. You're right, Jamie. How oh, did he have it? How oh, did he have it? Uh, I think he had it like this. So I think he had this bracket, and then what he did is he took a, he took the same bracket from the other side. Where did I put them? Because of the way the Porsche's made. <clears throat> and I'm still gonna have to have these like welded together as one piece because it's too dangerous to have individual pieces uh, you suck. Do it. You suck. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's true. You only need it if you crash. That is very true. <clears throat> okay, so. I kind of wish I didn't have to have the seat leaned so far back, but my frickin' head would bang on the ceiling with the helmet on. Okay, and then I need a... <clears throat> X-Drive. gonna get okay and then I think he had it like this which I think that's right I could get the damn bolt in.
Okay. Okay, new question. How the fuck did he even get the seat in here? Are you kidding? Okay, that's very true. My windshield's not in. Oop, I'm on my brake line. Ow, fuck that hurt. Ooh. Yep, that's the way he had it. Look at how good it fits the bar. Nice. Nice. Which I thought. Nice. I thought there was supposed to be some downward. Or no? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Okay. Now, I don't remember if these were long enough. <clears throat> So what's up with all the janky wiring? You gonna take that off too? Yeah, it's all getting torn out. I'm gonna start from scratch. That's in case you need a fire starter. You've got that. <laughs> Here, let me scoot through your side. Get lost in the wilderness. This is gonna be. I'm gonna need a quick release or I'll never get out of this car. Okay, a little confused here. Don't tell me they forgot to cover them up when they were painting. Oh, there's actually even a hole back here I could maybe mount the belts to. figure out how to get these are gonna be a pain in the ass and obviously these aren't gonna stay like this since these are stainless I need to get higher grade bolts but this is the idea anyway to uh and I think the ones in the, the chassis I'm gonna make longer I don't think they're long enough. Oh boy. Got a little. There we go.
Yeah, definitely not long enough to really grip down in there. Ah, uh, how the fuck are you supposed to get... I feel like you'd have to unbolt the seat and tilt the seat up just to get this bolt in. I mean, it's like... <laughs> it's way in there. Ah! Fuck. Yeah. Yep, let's do that. <laughs> oh no. I got four three more of those. Is it all torn up or That's good cuz oh. Uh oh. Oh, well, we're done. Oh, halfway. Nice. Well, how did how did it get torn up though? Not yeah, sure. It doesn't even look like the threads are fucked at all. That's what I don't understand. Oh shit. How? Put it in the. Well, what I'm gonna do is tighten this because this came loose. Okay. Your <clears throat> lock nut. But you should but still be able to loosen this because this won't get any tighter. Is it threaded? What do you mean? Is this threaded? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you should be all right. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I think the new strategy is to... Shit, of course it's not. That wasn't even tight. Fucking shit. Oh, that, that didn't work like I was hoping. Oh yeah, it's definitely fucked. I'm making new threads right now. You're what? I'm making new threads. How the fuck did that even happen? I guess those springs are that strong. I can't see how else it would do it. <laughs> what? Man, these are tough to get out. <clears throat> Just had to break it off, huh? Try this again. Okay, so we can swing the seat up. 
Oh, I still don't have any fucking clearance. <laughs> ah. What the fuck is the deal? How did the front tighten itself down? Fuck. Okay, that would explain that. Hope I never have a problem with the car where I have to change the seats between races because I would be completely fucked. Do what? understand why it's not lining up. It's not even coming close to lining up. <sighs> okay, new strategy. Such a pain in the dick. <laughs> All the test fit the seat. Okay. All right. Uh, Laz, can I hand the seat to you through the front here? No. No. <laughs> no. Here, uh, I'll hold this side. Well, that might not even work because it's stuck on the. Uh... Oh, watch the. The oil or the brake. There you go. There we go. Okay, got it. All right. Give me one sec. I can zip these in real quick. Need a quick release. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get one. I'll probably replace this, and you just like cut the shaft and weld the quick release adapter on. Question is, why is this one? Something's wrong with this one. Where's your other armrest? Uh, on the workbench, the makeshift workbench. Are you sure both of them go face that way? Mm hmm. Because otherwise they're too uh, wide and the seat won't be straight. Did you strip it? That's really frustrating. It goes in just fine without the mount, which means the mount's just slightly the wrong size. I mean, like we're talking like just barely. <clears throat> there we 
there it goes. Okay. I was like, it's really quiet. <laughs> this thing's really weak, so it, well, we already over tightened something once with it, but eh. Okay, and then this side would be here. You want to see out? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. Well, I'm almost ready. So basically the, I'm gonna have to have a shop mount these and then weld like a support from here to here and then weld something up here for the, uh, the submarine belt because there's nowhere for it to go right now. Like I was thinking maybe like right here, it's pretty strong, but I don't know. I gotta have a certified shop do it since it's a spec car. Okay, all right, I'm ready for the seat. See if it fits between the space I gave it. Whoops. Whoa, shit. Oh, I fucked that up. I didn't give this seat near enough space. Not even close. Fuck. All right, here, I'm gonna hand it back to you. Uh, maybe it was the other way then. All right, let's try that now. What's up, it? homie? Ah, uh, getting there. It's a little tight fit. Okay. Holy shit, it still isn't. Oh my God, just barely. Is it going in on? Oh no, it's not. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. It feels it. Sounds like it's ripping something. Oh, just barely. Just barely. Okay, I gotta find the holes. Ah. 
I just bought the, the Sparco floor mount. Oh, the, like to bolt to your floor? Yeah. Yeah, these were supposed to be easier than this, but they didn't fit like I had expected. Oh, that's the, uh, it's for the, the fuel. Oh, okay. You have to, you have to have it encapsulated so the fumes or gas don't get out. It's kind of a pain. Especially because if you don't have it sealed right, then this you smell. Bush is sm too many rules. <laughs> There's a lot of rules. 52 times before you go out and race. There's a lot of rules. That is very true. I will give you that. year they change the rules that you can't have any LS. Um so as long as I race this year and finish and not look like a retard, then I can protest and try and enter again next year. Which I know a lot of people would because I'm not the only one with a fairly large engine. <laughs> I mean, it's a two wheel drive car, so it, you could have a thousand horsepower and you're never gonna put all that to the gravel. You know what I mean? Like, now all wheel drive, yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay, I'm not gonna use this for the seat itself. Okay, I'm gonna take your spot, Laz. <laughs> Shit, it might be easier to just break the windshield to get out of the car and then to unbuckle the seat belts every time. It's like an adult playground. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, fuck. Yeah. See, that side's easy. I don't get that. Yes. How much more RPM do you get out? Um, my goal is to go from 6,000 to 7,000. That's the goal. I don't know if we can make it. Correct. What's wrong? Oh. Yeah, right. Okay, seat's almost ready for a test.
Um, uh, it depends on, there's little tiny things that are missing like sensors and stuff, but my goal is to have the engine done at the end of next week and then have it in the car in two more weeks. There's just a couple things that are like special order that I have to deal with and, um, My goal is the end of February, only because I have to get a bunch of stuff sandblasted and repainted before I put it back together. And the, yeah. Yeah. And the steering rack is special order too, so that's gonna take a while. But my goal is to have it drivable pretty quickly, but then it'll take a while to get all the another month at least to get all the electrical done so it's street legal. Uh, it'll tune itself and then I can make adjustments with a laptop on the fly. Do what? Okay. Uh, let's see if I can even get in the damn thing. Oh my god, no way in fucking hell am I ever gonna get out of this without a quick release. I can't even get my leg in. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get let me get all this. So you say you need to drive. Hey, uh, I don't have anything that can cut this wire. Hey, you went in wrong. Yeah, I know. Feet first, I think. Yeah. Hey, do you have anything that could cut through this? Like your side dice will. Well, like one wire at a time. <laughs> Are you going to use it again? You're not using this right now. Oh, no. Is this still flashing? If you can only get one wire there it goes. <laughs> no, it does that to me sometimes. It, okay. it wait. Why? Because you're ten times faster, is that what you're saying? Faster isn't always better, you know. Not everybody likes a rabbit. Hey, I just did two wires at a time. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I dulled it out. <laughs> That was three or four. Okay, come on. I feel so weak. Ah, uh, do you want to take the honor of throwing that in the trash pile? The forest unlocked. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, I, I'm stuck. <sighs> Here. <laughs> No, I'm legit stuck. Yeah, I'd burn alive if this car crashed without a quick release, which means I better start looking for one. Oh, right on the, right on the, right on the bone. Right on the bone. Okay, let me try that. Keep in mind you don't have a door right now. This is true. Uh, uh, don't remind me. Okay, all right, so. Okay, I'll be over there in a sec. I, I did. Oh, I feel so old. 
Uh, you know, I'll trade you a stock 95 Civic for it. <laughs> oh my God, I don't even fit in this. I'm so fat. Shut the fuck up. No, seriously, like I barely fit in this seat. You yeah, I, I'm putting a control panel right here. I think that's perfect. And of course, my helmet, of course, is gonna hit this fucking bar. I might have to tilt the seat back a whole... Fucking shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tilt the seat back one more, because it's that. My helmet's just gonna hit right here, which is not gonna be good. Ooh, that was not a good idea. So, this is, this is actually too close to me. Like, my arms aren't. Yeah, that's. This wheel's too close. I need to get a, a short quick release, which are not cheap. And finding one compatible with the Porsche shaft. Um, Laz, can you? No. <laughs> can you get me a, uh, I think that's a 22 millimeter. Might as well take this off so I can. Those are empty. Yeah. <laughs> it should be in the 3 8 drawer. The second from the top. Yeah, there should be a bunch of big ones. I think it's a 22. Let me check. Bigger. Uh, 24? I got a 24 somewhere. Brandon, do you have the 24? Yep, on crankshaft. On crankshaft. Laz, it's on the... Brandon's got it. Yeah, I'm gonna need a very, very short quick release, which means I might lose my horn button. That's an adapter. Um, uh, third drawer from the top, there's a little extension. Thank you, sir. Hope I didn't tighten it, tighten it. I don't think that's even a 24, but whatever. I gotta get, get out of here. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you know how real, you realize how nasty this is gonna get? Yeah, it's gonna get bad. But, but it's good. For, good for sweaty hands. What? What? What are you looking at? You're just waiting for me to try to get out. Even without the wheel, I think it's not gonna be so straightforward. Okay, so you grab here. Oh, it's no, you only have 30 seconds to get out of the car in order to meet your tech inspection, so I think I could handle 30 seconds without the wheel, with the wheel, no way, no. I know, but I couldn't, when I searched last year, or 2017. Step on your $19 seats. They're not that much. Yeah, oh, they're gonna get nasty and beat up, man. Like, I'll probably end up having to recover. No, I need those. Yeah. These are too nice. Too nice? Yeah. I won't trade you. I am a peasant. No. No, I need them. I need them. They're just the right size. Yeah. <laughs> Tight, right? 
<laughs> oh, I got the nut on it. Sorry, here. Oh, crap. Ah. Yeah. Got to remember that those are only temporary bolts since they're stainless. Hey, uh. <laughs> no, you can't. Straightforward. Where, uh, where did you put all those uh, sockets and stuff? Trunk. <laughs> yep. Do what? So I'm guessing Brandon Mall didn't spray your cage. No. No, they just single staged it real quick. Huh? You can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Start cleaning up the work area a little bit while you're working. Last one, huh? Nice. Okay. No. Yeah, that little short thing. I ordered a longer one because that one's all beat up. But so it'll be it'll be pretty good because you go wheel shift. No, wheel brake shift. Sorry. Right, wheel brake shift. Yeah, I just need to get the wheel closer to the, um, the hydro. Yeah, it's it should be like. Yeah. A lot better now that you can actually sit in it. Right? Now you can always make those as you continue driving. You can <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about is elbowing the uh, brake lock. I feel like. I feel like this was not the best place for it. Like I might have to put a piece of foam around it because I you probably cut yourself pretty good right there. Like this should have been back in the back or right here. Man, probably back, way back, you know, like. Would it be too hard to just get a new piece and just move it back? I mean, I could do, I could do it, but yeah, it would be a pain in the dick. Because you know you're going to. I'm going to elbow the, yeah, and it's going to fuck it up. And you're going to go. <laughs> That's just an e-brake, so. Which I might try and repair the car's original e-brake and then I wouldn't need that. Where's the original e -brake? It's to the left of the seat. It's on the floor. It's completely torn out because it was all well, fucked then you up. Get a new skin. <laughs> no, I would have two e-brake. That would that e-brake and the OEM e-brake. Yeah. But yeah, I think this line lock needs to be moved all the way. Yeah, but then you don't hit it with your elbow and destroy it half. Let me look where it is. It's right where your elbow is when well, you shift. Mid look at that. You, probably you would fucking destroy what happens it. If instead of doing that, you put a little plate that goes right here that just deflects it. That, that, that's going to hit your elbow when you try to shift. You see what I mean? Who designed it? I did not. The guy who built the cage did that. I don't know why. I am, because I don't know why he put it right where your elbow is. That doesn't make sense. You know what he said? Not my problem. <laughs> right here looks good. Yeah. The cage is nice, but uh, the brakes could have been a little nicer. I realize I need the brakes as well. Yeah. Have you ever done eight hours in your bucket seat? <laughs> no, but I will. I'll be doing 16 when the time comes. If you have, it can't be fun. Nope. Sixteen hours. Yeah, two days. The main the main race is two days, but they do have one day events too. When you piss. 
uh, between, so you, you drive for 10 miles full throttle and then you stop and then you go to go to like down a public road to the next road. So in between, if you need to, you can go dive behind a tree, but you only have a few minutes. 10, mi 10 minutes full throttle. 10 miles. And during that, you're supposed to fix your car as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's rough. It's. It sounds like army for cars. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. I'd say it's harder on the car than the driver for sure. Or the mechanic. Sweet valve springs are done. I man, I it was almost effortless. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> uh, do you want to do the uh, windage tray? Yeah, just, yeah, just got to watch out for that ridiculous fuel pump that's missing shit. When's your birthday? March. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It, it would be Well, I'll get to drive it for my birthday in April. Yeah, it would be in the field with no windshield though. What do you mean? I, I won't have any of the electrical done. I got goggles. <laughs> Which way are you going? This way? Officer, I don't have a windshield because it's not my car. <laughs> Stop. No. No. No, no, no. Turn it back. Turn it back. Just stop. stop Turn stop, it back. Stop, stop, stop. Just stop while you're ahead. Damn it. Just stop. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Just, just pull these Yeah, down. no, I need to. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Just, we'll just do it from the bottom. Why? I pull them out, I guess. I'd, yeah, it doesn't They're matter. all nice and clean, and now they're fucking dirty. It Damn matter. it. I just know what you said. Why? You're just trying to... Uh, because... Because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just trying to come up with some bullshit reason <laughs> as to why... Ready. Okay. I think you're just there from all the I'm just a retard. I'm a retard. I can admit that. Boy. Okay. So this is gonna go. This will help us mock up your pickup tube. And I need to make sure the oil pan clears. Where do you set it? The pickup tube? Yeah. Why do we need to, what? No, the. Oh, just to figure out which. Well, actually, no, you have to have a windage tray because the pickup tube is deeper than the windage tray. What? How long did it take you? Two seconds. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So That one, which is standard, so. Okay. All right, let me look up the foot pounds. So surprised. Why? Because it was 18 foot pounds. <laughs> I mean, at least they did it right and picked a foot pound and stuck with it, like. 16, 17, 18. <laughs> See how they stop once you get... Mm -hmm. Now I'm assuming it doesn't matter how you tighten this down because it's a windage tray and not important to anything, right? Yeah, but I mean, it's good practice to not go out of pattern. I'm just going It's whatever. It's fine. Doesn't matter. The only one that doesn't go in the system right now. Why? Because uh, the pickup tube goes bolts to that, so we have to put the tube on and then bolt that one on. Put the tube, James. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, I need the oil pump bolts first. I'm gonna have to order them. Turn radio knobs. <laughs> <laughs> Peel that off, then you can say it's new. No. Well, don't peel that off. Don't peel it off. Why not? It's gonna stay. They on don't there. sponsor you. <laughs> 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 oh, Very oh. funny. It's gonna stay in there. Well, what would you do if I accidentally drop this in there? That would be really, really bad. Oh. It, would, it would come out. Maybe. You just have to rock it back the Clucking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you struggling? It's moving. The stand's moving. <laughs> Are you struggling? Damn That's not news. fair, man. That is not fair. The stand's moving on me. I'm struggling. Oh, you can put some. Yeah, I know, right? And that's a one foot thing, so you're applying 18 pounds roughly that direction. I'm a nerd. I'm amazed I can apply 18 pounds that direction. 
I figured it'd be like this direction. <laughs> Sorry. I could do like 100 pounds that direction. <laughs> well, that's tight. It was tight when we started, I swear. Or it bottomed out, either way. Probably bottomed out. Like I said, holy mother of washers. <laughs> <laughs> They're washers. Or orfers. Oh, check that one. Hmm? Did you check this one again? Fuck you. <laughs> You haven't tightened this one down. Yes, I did. You guys are going to check it. Go back to the yes, video. I did. Three Come times. On. Three times. Why not four? Three is an odd number. Yeah. I can't wait for the day when you can set it digitally to a torque and then zzz, done. Those are expensive. Those are like t 10 grand. So you can't or you could just get a digital torque wrench and then set it to the and spec. Beep, 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 beep. But it won't stop. The digital ones don't click over. And they beeped you. Stop them. Well, yeah. I know, but that's not like... That's not the point. That's not the point. That's not it's the point. The point. It's, it's James proof. Wait, you, I you want still, it to be wait, James wait, proof. Can you still check it three times? Probably. Probably. OCD doesn't make sense. It's just there. <laughs> There you yeah, go, see the this is in the middle. <laughs> I'm hungry. I don't know. I thought you were James. Where did that bolt go? In there. <laughs> no. Seriously, where'd it go? Did you not hear it? <laughs> You're too busy clicking your clicker. Beep, 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 beep. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I wish you could say stop and yell. That'd be awesome. Easy. Get back on there. Come here. I'm gonna do this. Why? Got okay. it out. Yes, yes. Oh Just gonna God. stick it on there for now. I ain't gonna go nowhere. I'm easy, bitch. Man, they did a really shit job. <laughs> when uh, when I put this gasket on, do I gotta clean all this oil off of the surface? Or does it not matter because it's an O-ring gasket, right? Yeah, but I mean, yeah, you don't want... What the fuck is you on that? You at least want to wipe the son of a bitch. Yeah. Trying not to hold me down, feel alive.